In question three of our series where we set up and solve differential equation problems, we're asked, a certain small country has 10,000 million in paper currency in circulation, and each day 50 million comes into the country's bank. The government decides to introduce new currency by having the banks replace old bills with new ones whenever old currency comes into the bank. What is the amount of new currency in circulation as a function of time? I want to start by setting up an equation. Our equation will model what goes in minus what goes out. And I'll use the letter A with respect to T to model that. So A of T represents the amount of new currency in circulation. Now that I've written that, I said I want my function to model what goes in minus what goes out. Now since we're looking for the rate of change, I'm not going to use A of t. Instead, I'll use A prime, or simply, since we're doing differential equations here, dA over dt. Now I have to model what goes in and what goes out. The easier of these two is what goes out. What goes out is equal to zero, because the government, once the old currency goes in, will not be giving out that old currency. We'll be replacing it. So this part will equal to zero. Now for the tricky part, what goes in. Now every day 50 million come in. So I'll represent 50 million per day. And what we have to do is multiply this by a fraction of the old. And here's how you do that. You take what you start originally with, 10,000, and you subtract it with the amount that is remaining. Of course, we don't know the amount that's remaining, so I'll just write down A. And I'll divide this by the total amount, which is 10,000 million. And by doing this, we end up with the following. This zero and this zero cancel out, leaving us with 5 million at the top, multiply 2, 10,000 million minus our unknown amount over 1,000 million at the bottom. Luckily for us, this can be reduced even further. If I distribute this 10,000 million to the first term and to the other term, I end up with this divided by this gives me 10 minus A over 1,000 million. At this stage, you would have to separate the A and the T terms, subsequently integrate both sides to get the general solution. To find your constant, you would set A at time zero is equal to zero, because at the very beginning, you don't have any new currency in circulation. And that's what it represents. You would then find your C, substitute it back into your general equation that contained the constant, and you're done. And also another pointer for you, you don't need to write down million while you do that, or million here and per day. Just pretend that it's not there and work with this particular equation the way it is. In other words, you would work with dA over dt is equal to 5 times 10 minus a over 1,000. And there you have it. That is how to set up and solve differential equation problems.